I'm Cassie Nesper, curator of the Rose Melnick Medical Museum at Youngstown State University. Today I wanted to tell you about one of my favorite objects in the museum, the wooden x-ray machine. This machine was manufactured in Dresden, Germany around 1929. It was bought by a young Jewish doctor named Erhard Weltmann, who practiced medicine in a small town in northeastern Germany. In 1937, Dr. Weltman fled Nazi Germany and immigrated to the United States, bringing his x-ray machine with him on a boat across the Atlantic Ocean. By 1939, Weltman was practicing medicine in Youngstown, Ohio and using his old x-ray machine. This machine comes with a beautiful wooden cabinet that houses the equipment to generate the electricity to run this machine. This is the rectifier that changes the alternating current to direct current electricity, which is what is needed to run x-ray tubes in the 1930s. The electricity would have flowed from the top of this cabinet across taut wires to these insulated arms and then down to the x-ray tube which would have been mounted here on this adjustable arm. Early tubes would have had a large bulb in the center. In the 1930s, bulbs were completely cylindrical. They would have had a heavy protective housing made out of glass or bakelite. Meters on the top of the cabinet measured the electrical current used to make a particular strength of x-ray. For example, stronger x-rays were needed to take an image of the torso and weaker ones for the arms. This black box controls the kilovolts and amps. The top has a timer that goes up to 10 seconds. These adjustments were made manually for each x-ray. This machine could be used to create x-ray images or for fluoroscopy. For an x-ray, the patient would lay on this wooden table. This screen would be removed and a glass plate coated in chemicals would be inserted. Because x-ray tubes are very bright when they're used, the x-ray tube would usually be placed underneath the table. There was no protective clothing for the patient to wear. The radiologist might wear lead-coated goggles or gloves, or stand behind a lead screen while the image was being taken. An image might have looked like this. Just kidding. An image would have looked like this. For fluoroscopy, the patient would ingest barium, or bismuth subcarbonate, to make the appropriate soft tissue or organ fluoresce. The table would be placed in a vertical position and the x-ray tube behind the table in a spot corresponding to the part of the body to be viewed. The screen would be placed in front of the table and the room would be darkened. The doctor would wear a pair of goggles, tinted red or green, and the x-rays would produce a moving image which the radiologist would observe and then take notes. So there you have it, the wooden x-ray machine. Be sure to check out our other videos on the Rose Melnick Medical Museum YouTube channel.